Hello everybody, today is the 1st of July. Oh, pinch punch, first of the month, no returns. Ow, I hated that though, when someone done that, they go, pinching a flick for being so quick. You're like, oh, damn you, you're pinching. But it is the 1st of July, and it is Canada Day today, yes. When Canada celebrated the Constitution Act and the three nations came into one to make Canada. It's been 151 years today, so congratulations, Canada. Woo! Canada Day! Ow! The sun is beaming. And actually, my sunflower has one bigger head and two little more flowery heads coming off it. It's going to be like um, a quadruplet sunflower. It's going to be very exciting when it's done. It is going to be so exciting. But... To kickstart today on this lovely Sunday. Oh yeah, I've got to say that. Happy Sunday, guys. Hope you're having a relaxing day, wherever you're doing. But, talking about something I read. Challenges, what they do. First of all, we had the dab. The dab challenge. Lex loves a quick dab going on. Dab out those haters. Dab out. <laughs> no, that's Logan Paul, isn't it? I can't do that. Oh. Then there was the mannequin challenge, where everyone had to freeze and just stay the same. I've never done that. I've just never been good staying still. But the new one is the floss. The... Floss, the floss challenge. Well, there is a school. I couldn't find out if it was here or in the US. Couldn't find out if it was here or in the States, but I think it might be here. And there's a school. That fly is really annoying me. Right. There's a school that is giving detentions out to any child that does the floss any time during the day, even at break time. So if you're there behind a bush in the corner doing the floss and a teacher finds you, detention. If you're there in the toilets doing a quick floss before you go for a wee, detention. If you're leaving the school doing a quick floss, detention. That, to me, seems a bit much. This mum went online to Mum's Net and said, why are the school giving out floss it, flosses? Why are the school giving out flosses? Floss, floss, floss. Do you know what, I had mixed, I was surprised. I personally, if children want to floss, that's fine. Preferably not in the classroom when they're trying to learn. That is too much, but they're on the playground. Does it really matter? My hair. Does it really matter if they're flossing? Really? But anyway, someone was saying people agreed with the ban, saying it's really annoying. Do you know why it's annoying? Because you can't do it. That's why it's annoying, isn't it? Ha, the secret's out now, guys. I personally never had a problem with it. I don't see why other adults should either. It's just ridiculous. So if it's not in the classroom, Leave the children to floss, guys. Just leave them alone. The paper's flapping everywhere and it's really annoying. I was weighing it down with this sock and this rubber band. Each school to their own. Each school to their own. Next, it'll be breathing. You're breathing too loud. Oh, it's just ridiculous. The world is going mad. It really, really is. Gary, a man called Gary, found love. But he didn't ask this lady for any information. So, 42 year old Gary went on holiday with the guys to Portugal. He was sitting in a bar, having drinks, and then in comes these group of women, and he was like, oh, the most beautiful woman he'd ever seen, apparently, the most beautiful woman. So, he called over the bar lady and said, look, could you, I wanna buy that lady over there a drink. So, she came over with a drink, he took it over, and he, all he said to her was, for a beautiful princess, ah. The night was coming to an end, and the lady came over and said, thank you for my drink. And he found out, he did ask her where she was from and she was from the Northeast. She didn't give precise area, but the Northeast. And she is 25 and her name is Marie. So if you're watching this Marie and you're 25 and you've just been to Portugal and you met a man with a bald head called Gary, he is looking for you because he loves you and he wants you to be his Vicky Patterson of the North. So if you're watching, let's help Gary find love. Oh, Junior's homework this week, well, it was stupid. It made no sense. It was this map formation with all these little pictures of the gift shop, a chip shop, a little amusement bit. And they had to use terms from maths. So above, next to, below, left, right. I don't know how you use that in maths, but anyway. And then the other sheet they gave you was supposed to be one to write a comparison of like the, the gift shops next to the chip shop. But they had the smallest squares you'd given. This homework was pants so I've ditched the grid and just got Sam to write sentences ah, homework it's not even bloody oh no they are discontinuing Fanta Lemon oh, 
No way. No way. I don't actually like Fanta Lemon, but I know it's a popular, popular drink. So I was delving into this, and people are not amused by this at all. Someone said, first they changed Lucozade, then Iron Brew, and now they're friggin' discontinuing Fanta Lemon. What's next? No more green milk? Oh, he was not a happy chappy. Someone else put, what the frig? As if Fanta Lemon has been discontinued. Honestly, what am I even living for? Oh, another not very happy. And then the last one I saw, which just made me chuckle, was Megan stole Wes, Jack's ex is going in the villa. Now Fanta Lemon's been, been discontinued. Can't talk, discontinued. What a terrible 24 hours. People are not, not happy. So Fanta Lemon, the Fanta company, was straight on there to make people see sense and say it's only being discontinued, I'm sorry to say this, in the USA, in the US. The UK, we are still fine for Fanta Lemon. It will be in the shops, it will be on the shelves, it will be in the fridges. But in America, no more. No more Fanta Lemon. Sad times, guys. Sad times. Don't be sad. Don't be disheartened. I'm coming to America soon and I'll fill my suitcase for the Fanta Lemon and sell it on the road. Oh, better not. Permit Patty might come. She might. <laughs> Do you have a permit to sell that Fanta? No. Oh, Love Island. I made a few mistakes last time, guys, on Thursday Thoughts. Made a few mistakes. Laura did say more than one word to Wes. She was very blunt. She was very rude and to the point. Then she finished off by saying, the one line, you can go now. So I do apologise about that. I do apologise. But, Cassa and Moore is in full swing. They've been in there a couple of days now. Oh. Oh my God. It is all going wrong. So, Wes was talking to the other girls in there and... He just wasn't really putting himself out there much. So then he was sitting there talking in the evening. I don't know who he was talking to. I think it was Alex he was talking to. And he was saying, no one compares to Meg, so I'm gonna wait for her when she comes back. Well, Meg, she is not waiting for you, dear son. She is not waiting for you. She is getting very, very close to the new Alex who wears glasses. I think she's forgotten about you, Wes. It's not looking very hopeful for you at all. Josh's head has been turned. Poor Georgia. Oh my God, she has been so, so loyal. Sleeping in the bed with Danny, Danny Dyer's daughter, not Danny Dyer. Sleeping in the day beds outside, thinking it's driving her mad. You can tell by her face, her little face, like, oh, I hope he's being good. Danny, you have nothing to worry about Jack. He has been a really good boy so far. Georgia, Josh's head has been turned. And actually, I've got a sneaky peek. Georgia tonight, she finds out, she gets, she watches somehow. Love Island people, I know you like drama, but this, you have to remember these are real people, these are people's lives. Georgia tonight watches a secret footage about the betrayal of Josh with Kaz, because Josh and Kaz are really close. He was acting, when Kaz came back in the room, he was like doing, going all stiff and like jumping around like a, <laughs> he is absolutely in love with Kaz, you can tell. Georgia has been waiting, but oh, Josh, no. The betrayal, the betrayal. Tonight's episode will be good, but Jack has been very loyal to Danny, so it is all good. Oh, that's not even good. I've got water today because it's so hot. Bit of a headache coming. But tonight's episode is going to be pretty good. I really hope that they're going to take them back into the villa and they're all going to be like, please choose who you want to couple up with. It's like, oh my God. Remember to wear your sun cream. It is so hot. Where I go for a coffee in Dover, the coffee shop man there, he fell asleep on the beach yesterday or the day before and was as red as a lobster. He looked sore as, I felt like slapping his face and saying, does that hurt? Lather up guys, keep cool, in the shade, hat on, glasses on. Sun safe guys, sun safe. But it's been fantastic talking to you. I'm gonna upload my new Musical.ly soon to YouTube so you guys can watch them because I have great fun. I actually have been the comments have been very nice on Musical.ly recently, so guys, I thank you very much. It really does mean a lot. Good comments are fantastic comments. They lift you up and think, ah, which is nice. I'm going to round up here. It's been fantastic seeing you guys. And also about the Animal Noises Challenge Part 
three, I think we're on now. It'll be coming when the summer holidays run because Lexi's really busy with school. It's her last, last year in year six. So I'm gonna let her finish all that and then when the summer holidays come, I will be recording it for you guys. And as always, if you have any other challenges that you want me to do, any reaction videos, remember to leave a comment down below because I'm always up for a challenge. Oh, got another challenge. Oh. <laughs> but guys, I thank you all so much and I really do mean it from the bottom of my heart. And as always, remember to leave the video a cheeky thumbs up, subscribe to Cool Cage TV and check out my other videos as that would really mean the world. See you guys later. Bye. Cool Cage TV. Yeah.